Oh my goodness. Holy mother. That is absolutely beautiful. Whoa. Hello ladies and sirs, this is going to be a rather quick, sudden video, as this game just came out. I've been waiting for it for a little while, made by um, Titanic Honor and Glory, as they're building a whole Titanic game, or they're sinking and all that stuff, which I'm waiting for that, who knows when that's going to be coming out. But in the meantime, they've came out with um, this sinking simulator and touring thing, Titanic, Patronus of the Mediterranean. We always had a thing with like steamships and sinking ships and all that stuff, but I just thought I may as well spend a couple of dollars um, and just, just try it out. Okay, what do we go? Whoa. Oh, wow. Sorry, just, um, if you could see me, if you could see my face right now, just my mouth just opens like, look at this. Oh, can I crash now? No. Oh, look at the detail. Like, this looks amazing. Yeah, refresh, I've, I've always been a massive, um, fan of the um titanic and stuff like that so i've always wanted to know a bit more about the um britannic and what happened to her interiors i've had no little to no information on i never thought that the um I, I, now i'm now i'm questioning my titanic knowledge like is, is the britannic thing it's, it's, it's an oval the titanic i'm pretty sure was definitely a circle so did they change it on this ship that's stuff anyway that's, that's just right there just something you know i didn't know about um the sister ship so I guess I should probably say um, a little bit about the Britannic from what I do know. The Britannic was a um, sister ship to the obviously famous Titanic. Um, built a bit afterwards and I'm pretty sure they updated the design to be more safe after the whole Titanic disaster. Um, sadly, I don't think it ever got to go into service on the um, ocean. Due to World War One, it got converted into a hospital ship, which as you can really see, um, the, all the um, furnishings that have been ripped out because normally the um, what they refer to as the Olympic class liners were way nicer than this. I believe I heard that there was supposed to be a um, an organ or something that was supposed to be there, but it was removed. I'm pretty sure that still survives today, actually, somewhere. That's what I was saying before the Britannic got um, sunk during World War One. Hit um, there was a massive debate for years whether it was a torpedo or a mine, but I believe from what I know it was sunk by a mine. I believe it only took about, uh, 40, I'll say 45 minutes, I reckon, I think it took to sink, and I believe only 31 or so people died. Ooh, that's a cool view. Yeah, I believe only um, 30 or so, um, just, just a bit over 30 people died, which is pretty remarkable of how many people were on the ship. And all those who did die um, were from um, one of the lifeboats. And all those 30 on board who did die, I believe only um, did because they launched um, the um, lifeboat too early. They were obviously afraid. The um, the captain left the um propellers going to try and beach the ship off the island of I believe Kio, in um Greece. I haven't got a reflection there. I'm a vampire. All right. Yeah, I'm a vampire. Oh, it's a bit of a hidey hole. Just, all right, just sink. I assume in the um, proper ship there would have been more of this room and for all these rooms in general, really. Just crazy. Wow. Let's do here. Yeah. Okay. So sweet. Oh, actually, I recognize these beds. These were um, pretty standard on Titanic. That's this stuff. Wow. I love the little detail, like just the um, quilt or whatever it is under there. All these little details of the patterns and stuff. Like, very beautiful. The game is very nice looking. What do we got through here? More rooms. Oh, I can see. Can I open doors? Is there a thing I can do? No. No. Right, the swimming bath. Wow. Oh, can I go in here? Please take it. Oh, I can. And... Oh. Okay. Alright then, I didn't actually expect they would let you go into the water. 
Like I've seen all their sinking demo things, I didn't... Yeah. Alright then. Wow, look at that. Just like, you can sit in any corner of a room and just... Looks so photorealistic. Like, I feel like the water could still use an improvement for the game. But overall, like, if you excuse that and look at everything else, just a still image, it, it looks so good. Oh, just look at that. It's so amazing. Just pass uh, anyone. Oh, oh, I can get myself in this little hidey hole. Excuse me, I'm changing. Oh. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. It's all just seats. Some showers. And again, those. Ah, alright, fair enough. Lovely. Okay, we're in a new section. Outside. Wow, look at that. Just the size of these freaking funnels are huge. And obviously, um, a lot more lifeboats. The deck is definitely a lot more cramped with um, these um, lifeboat cranes. Is that hanging one off the end? Oh, a little boat down there. Yeah, mate, you got a little problem. Your boat's taking on a little water. Yeah, so well, I definitely would say the decks of the Titanic are definitely a lot nicer to look at and walk along because. Uh, just, just look. All this is in the way. Like, obviously, it's in the way of safety, which is obviously more important overall. But um, looks wise, the Titanic definitely seemed a lot more beautiful. Though, who knows, I might be wrong. Like, this could have looked a lot better as um, an actual um, ocean liner. But I guess I'll never really know, will I? Ah, oh, the bridge house. Awesome. Oh, the telegraph things. Wheel. Steer the boat. Boop, boop. Oh no, what am I freaking doing? Can't really see too much from here. Like, I guess it's obviously why they've got the crow's nest up there. But, um... Yeah. It is a very nice looking view. A compass house. Why is this up here? Because you got the compass house down below. I don't know why there's another one up here. Hey, whereas look at the size of this thing. That's insane. Oh, okay, I'm getting stuck. Oh, oh, can I? I can jump. All right, parkour. All right, cool. Oh, I recognize this. This is also um, a compass thing, I believe. Yep, there it is, a compass thing. I know this was here on the Titanic. It wasn't the, the front one wasn't there though? I still don't actually know exactly why this one's here, but it's here. Can I jump over this? I can. Oh. Like I know that like, I'm just stopping and looking at random things, but like, I'm just looking. It's like, look how good it looks. That looks absolutely amazing. Yes, it's nothing special. It's just this but like look at it just things look so good in this i don't know what on earth that's doing there but all right Come on, yeah. this was also here on the titanic but i also don't i don't completely remember what it's for i feel like i remember being told but i don't remember what it did but this was definitely here on the other one uh, oh i know about that i believe this thing here if not that definitely that um, those are, um, morgues for any, um, dead soldiers and bodies, whatever to be thought. Because obviously, since it was converted to a hospital ship, you're gonna have wounded from the war. Oh. That boat was there a moment ago. You're going. It got, dude, you, uh, okay, he can go away on his leaky boat. I'm sure he'll figure himself out. Overall, so far, I'm, I'm rather impressed with what they've been able to show, because obviously they haven't focused on this very much, as most of their efforts are put towards building the Titanic replica, which I'm looking forward to for the day when that comes out. <laughs> Spent a lot of time on that. Uh, you obviously got all the phones down to the engine rooms and other parts of the ship. Oh. He's gone. Alright then. Maybe he sank. Gee, where's that lens flare is blinding? Like, I almost instinctively went to put my hand up in front of my face with it. Like, it's not really there, my goodness. I will say this version of the outside definitely looks a little nicer than the um, midday one. Yeah, okay. I don't even might get some god rays through there, but yeah, no, just lens flare. Just lens flare. Just walking along, do 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 do. Lens flare. That's a wee crowd. Whoa. 
Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. My goodness, look at the sky. And just the light. Oh my goodness. Holy mother. That is absolutely beautiful. Whoa. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. That's absolutely beautiful. Oh, and the music. Oh, that is an absolute masterpiece right there. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that might be a thumbnail right there. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Like, the sky is really what sells it here, and just the lighting is- ah. I cannot describe how good this looks. Oh, that is... That is a piece of beauty right there. Look at it. I don't, getting this, I did not expect to see this. Did not- uh, this is blowing my expectations right out of the water. Just look at it. It's... The music really just sells it here. Just uh, I, I, I'm actually completely lost for words. Completely lost for words. I don't know what to say. I uh, just look at that. Uh, like. I don't know, just looking at this, I feel like, just, just looking at this makes me just feel right, like, just peace. I feel inner peace. It's... Uh, looking at this always makes me want to feel emotional, I don't know why. That is beautiful. It's, it's a real shame this ship never got to see the light of day after the war. The Britannic, if I remember correctly, is the largest shipwreck of the world. And you can actually dive to it, I'm pretty sure, as well. You can dive to it on the ocean floor, but you have to be a very experienced diver to do so. I was just about to wrap this up, but then I realised the RMS setting here. I believe that means that there is a version that shows the ship out of how it was supposed to be, but it never was. Uh, what else going on? Belfast Island. Okay. The organ is playing. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm... Um, uh, once again, I'm just lost for words. Um... I'm just I'm trying to hold my mouth shut. Um, I'm physically having to hold my mouth shut. My goodness, look at this. Like, I never thought I'd ever see this. Look at that. That's really cool. No, this is different. That they've made the floors blue. That's very different. Normally these are the um, white and black cars. Right. Cabins as before. The more classic Titanic looking elevators. My goodness. Look at that. Which I guess this explains the um, more overlooking shape. Because they had to have it stretch out. Because usually this used to go right around the Titanic. But obviously with the organ there, they can't do that. First you have the children's playroom. That's different. Whoa. I did, had no clue that was a thing. I had no clue that there was even any considerations for a children's room. Wow. This is the- uh, Ah, I was about to say, I wasn't sure. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the, um, the clerk room or whatever, the, the mail room was there. But it seems that it's been moved over here. I wonder why they did that. Oh wait, no, there seems to be one of these down here. I think I just got my decks mixed around and there's some, a new one up there. How odd, there's two of them now. Go through here. Yeah. Ooh. 
Get my nose in here. Hello. What's through here? Ah, this is like the little hidey hole room I wasn't sure on before. So there was supposed to be more in here. I thought so. Through here, there's a double bed in here. Look at that rug. Nice rug. I like that rug. Through here. In Ireland. I'd love to visit Ireland someday. That'd be lovely. Um, wait a second, put that bit of music back. It almost sounded like the beginning of that, uh... <laughs> yeah, sorry, no, just, that just popped in my mind. Very nice looking room. Not overly too much to see in here, it seems a bit. Overall, looks rather nice. Like, I prefer the interiors of the Titanic still, but they're still nice. It's a shame that they never got used. Do I hear a bloody... I do. Look at that. What the? Is that a... That's like a little fountain, little waterfall. That's cool. I don't expect that. This is really good looking. Like, I know there's a um, proper sinking part to this game, but I feel like I'll probably do that in another video. I think this video is just going to be worth it. It's an absolute piece of art. I'm going to have to go look through all the other things once again. Um, I think I saw one to do with night time, so I might need to probably go check that one out. I'm just noticing there's reflections on the sky on the floor. Uh, I love the set. Uh, sorry. <laughs> just seeing this view, it's like, that is a view, that's just... With the funnels... I feel like I'm on a, some version of the Titanic, but it's just... <sighs> oh, if only you could see my face right now, it just... Oh, this is a lot to take in. Just the whole ambience of everything. Look at that. Just the funnels, the aurora. Oh, I should keep on walking and looking, but. Oh, that is a sight to behold. Nothing. Oh, once again, this game taking my breath away. Can I get over here? The music really setting it just what remember, actually I take back what I said before when I mentioned the um the boat deck being too crowded. It looks a lot better here. Obviously they already thought this out a lot better than it seemed like. It looks a lot better than this version. You know, who would have thought how it was supposed to be. Look at that. I don't think there's really much I can add. I feel like I'm just going to be quiet for a couple of moments and walk around.
just look at that. Like, I know you guys can't see it, like, see my face, but I'm honestly absolutely chuffed. Like, I never thought I would ever see these ships the way they're supposed to be, especially not in so high a detail. Just, what is able to be done with today's technology about to bring these things to life? It's just outstanding. I'm very happy with the work which they've done over in Titanic on Glory. Um, if you haven't, you should go check them out. But just, like, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The work they have done here is just beyond words. Absolutely beyond words. I'm absolutely chuffed with their work and they should all be very proud of themselves, my goodness. Look at that. Being fascinated with these ships ever since I was little, it's just amazing to see them and walk around them. Just having these old behemoths come back to life. It's like the seeing these ships have honestly brought a bit of a tear to my eye. Which is a weird thing, weird, really weird thing to say, but there's something so beautiful about it, I don't know, it's hard to say I guess, but it's, yeah. yeah, it's now available on Steam, so if you want to go and get it, just get it, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.